Ted Commandment number eight. Thou shalt remember all the while, laughter is good. Now, <laughs> this is not always as easy as it sounds though. And I got some great coaching from a guy named Craig Valentine who told me you can't put humor into a speech, which sounds like bad news. But, he said, you can find the humor that's already there. That is a great bit of advice as you create a TED Talk and remember, all the while, laughter is good. We do want people to laugh. I want your speech to be funny, but here's the thing. You can't just cram humor in. No one else can write your jokes because then they'll seem forced. But if you look at what you're talking about, I mean, heck, it's a human endeavor. There's all kinds of things that are just screamingly hilarious about it if you just look at them right. So find the humor that's already there. And one great way to do that, I'll give you actually a couple of great ways to do that. One great way to do that is to tell one on yourself. I'm not really into self-deprecating humor. I don't want people to put themselves down. But what I think is close to that, but I think is really good, is telling one on yourself. When you say what the monkey mind was thinking at that moment, you know, I walked in and my monkey mind said, oh great, you are the dumbest guy in the room. Everybody here outranks you, they're richer than you, they're smarter than you. Okay, that's kind of funny because everybody thinks that too, but nobody dares to say it. So find those things where you can tell one on yourself. You know, when I saw that guy speaking and at first I was just really sad because it wasn't going so well and then I said, ha 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 ha, guy with the hard skills is blowing it. And then I got over myself and that's how I ended up doing what I do now because I realized if I got over myself and stopped being envious of people with the hard skills and just, you know, honored the people around me, I could make a difference. Well, that telling one on yourself can be great humor. Now another one that is kind of interesting and it works really well is if you've set something up and people are thinking something and you say it out loud, like if you tell people the year, you know, I was, it was 15 years ago when I was 30, oh that means now I'm 45, um, people laugh. You know, I have a thing where I say the, the story of the eagle and the bear and the fox and the wolf and then there's a turtle and I don't mention the turtle. And I say, and, and you're all looking at this thinking, what about the turtle, John? What about the turtle? Well, people really laugh. So when you tell people what they're thinking or when you put your own monkey mind on loudspeaker to make a point and tell one on yourself, those are great sources of humor. But at the end of the day, humor is really good, but you can't, you cannot cram humor into a speech. Find the humor that's already there.